Good morning, everyone. Thank you very much for coming. Well, first of all, welcome to the senior recital, senior and high school recital of Eliana Christensen. And thank you for making the effort to come out. It means so much to Ellie. And as she was looking at all of you come in, she's like, all my worlds are colliding into one place. And those worlds are I um, want to thank the tech support team uh, making this possible as well, so thank you guys for your work and efforts. Uh, please silence your cell phones if you haven't already. I just did. Didn't want to be hypocritical. And as you look at the program, you'll notice that there are three sets of three songs. And so we ask you to please uh, reserve your applause for the end of each set um, so that you can just flow from one to the next. And so we'll anticipate three applauses, I guess. And then there's one. All right. I'm going to read Psalm 96, which is a wonderful song of praise to God, who made us, and that's really who really is singing for today. Psalm 96. Oh, sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord, bless his name, tell of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations, his marvelous works among all the people. For great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the peoples are worthless idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Splendor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord, O families of the peoples. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Bring an offering. Come into his courts. Worship the Lord in the splendor of his holiness. Tremble before him all the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord reigns. Yes, the world is established. It shall never be moved. He will judge the peoples with equity. Let the heavens be glad, and let the earth rejoice. Let the sea roar in all that fills it. Let the field exult in everything in it. Then all the trees of the forest sing for joy before the Lord. For he comes, he comes to judge the earth. He will judge the world in righteousness, and the peoples in his faithfulness. Let's pray to that. Our Father in heaven, you have given us something to sing about, and that is you and all of the abundant goodness that flows from you. Ellie knows this, and she sings for you, and you have given her this capacity. Thank you for all the people who have poured into her, and Lord, we pray for your peace on her and on Heather as she plays the piano. And let all of this, as well as our time together as loved ones, friends, family, uh, be a sweet aroma to you. And we pray these things in Jesus' name.
was, but today is the two-year anniversary of my family's move back from Haiti. And <laughs> I was like, oh wow, I had no idea that's what happened when we planned this. Um, but it just worked out, it just worked out. I think God made it work out this way, um, that I could just commemorate my time in Haiti and just share a little bit about it with you and a lot of these songs have to do with my time in Haiti. Two years ago today, I woke up to a beautiful sunrise off the coast of Haiti. I left my home, my childhood, and I started a new adventure in the United States. Over the past two years in the U.S., I've often told people that I traded palm trees for pine trees. <laughs> it has taken me a long time to welcome the view of pine trees because I deeply miss the palms I grew up with. I miss my missionary family and the memories with them, which one of them here today. I miss my Haitian brothers and sisters. I miss living in a place where life is not in a hurry. I miss the stillness of the morning from my rooftop. These are but a few of the longings I have for my Haitian home. But last year, around my one-year anniversary in the U.S., the Lord showed me that there is beauty everywhere. We just need to take time to look for it. It may be a simple flower on the sidewalk or a star in the sky at night, but for me, it was recognizing the beauty in pine trees. And so if you turn to the very back of your program, there's a poem I wrote about finding beauty in the pines, and I'm going to read it to you right now. I miss the friendly wave of a palm leaf as it blows in the wind by the sea, its loose leaves dancing and its branches swing with the bright blue sky above me. I miss my rooftop view of Haiti, but I'm viewing mine a little different lately. As I look at the pines on this bright sunny day, the similarity is there. I just haven't been aware. The green of the pine is a little different, but the sky is still blue and the breeze is there too. The sway of the pine is slight, and maybe that signifies their might. They still praise the Lord, though different than the palms. They point to the heavens like an arrow so true, and that reminds me of God's promises to me and you. I miss the sound of a morning dove's coo, but the sounds of a Carolina wren are beautiful too. Oh, Haiti, I miss your beaches and mountains. Your people's praises flowed like a fountain. I remember not long ago I stood on those shores. I remember the palms whom everyone adores. As I look at the pines, I remember that view. But my dear Haiti, I rest, knowing God made them too. There is beauty in these pines, and I know that full well. But I will never forget those palms and the stories they tell. I'll remember those days as long as I live, and I'll remember the welcome you always would give. I pray God's grace over you abundantly. So dear Haiti, know you will always be a part of me. As I sing these next three songs, they each hold just a very nostalgic uh, feel. Two of them are love songs, but I grew up on them, so they remind me of Haiti. And then the last one is a love song to my, my land.
to cross. 
temptation, but deliver.